Hey YouTube, it's Brooks and today we are back with another 2022 Lexus NX. Uh, previously I've shown you the F Sport when it was a pre-production model uh, on the 350 and today I'm pleased to show you the 350 Hybrid. As always, as an employee of Toyota North America, these views are my own and do not reflect those of the company. So I've spent uh, just over, I guess, two to three weeks and uh, about 1,100, no, excuse me, uh, close to 1,400 miles now in this uh, NX Hybrid. And I really loved uh, my time in it. About a year ago, I had a 300 Hybrid of the previous iteration NX. Uh, and this has been a great comparison to see how the, uh, the new model lines up. Uh, new for 2022, of course, ground up uh, redesign and the Toyota new global architecture, as well as four powertrain options now. So you've got the 250, the 350, the 350 Hybrid, and then the 450H Plus. This is in Gratian water with a Palomino interior, and this does have the luxury package on the Hybrid, uh, just to keep that in mind as we go through the vehicle. Taking a look at the interior, of course it does have smart key access but this does have the digital latch system. So to unlock the vehicle, just grab the handle, but to open the door, you'll actually not pull the handle, but press the button inside the handle. And this does have the Palomino interior. Palomino is a gorgeous interior color, and I think it pairs with this Gratian water beautifully. Slipping inside to power up the vehicle. Of course, just push button start. And we'll just power on the vehicle. The engine may not kick on, of course, since this is the hybrid. As you can see on the 14-inch uh, Lexus interface, uh, it welcomed me. Uh, and the CarPlay is wireless, so it has paired my phone. Taking a look outside the vehicle, turn on the headlights, fogs, and the uh, hazards. Of course, you do have four automatic windows. And off on the door card here, you have automatic power folding mirrors your digital latch so it is a push to exit uh, should the battery die you pull this twice to open the vehicle but just push to unlock the door and open the door uh, and it will not open if it detects oncoming traffic bicyclists you know things of that nature uh, so it won't let you open the door into some uh, oncoming traffic Of course, you have blind spot monitoring. This one does have Lexus Safety, safety Systems 3.0, uh, which does include uh, a few things we'll go over, but uh, digital latch is a part of that. Luxury package models do have these beautiful 20 inch wheels. Great look, uh, contrast to the uh, vehicle in my opinion. You do have a 360 degree camera system, so there are cameras under each mirror. And of course you have these uh, triple beam LED headlights, which just look beautiful. I love the uh, turn signals integrated above that. I think the spindle really looks great on this vehicle. Um, the front end is very pronounced, elegant, beautiful, in my opinion. Um, the snout from the previous generation is kind of gone uh, with this new flat front end. Um, I love the way this looks. And you do have different grill variations, you know, between F Sport and things of that nature. But of course you have the uh, camera up above, fog lights, LED. Very nice looking front of the vehicle. Underneath the hood, as I mentioned, this is the uh, 350 hybrid. So this is the two and a half liter four cylinder hybrid. The 240 horses are sent through an electronic con uh, continuously variable transmission uh, with all wheel drive. Uh, most of our Lexus hybrid SUVs are all wheel drive in the sense uh, that there is the uh, rear electric assist um, between the rear wheels. This is about 30 horsepower shy of the uh, turbo model, but about 35 to 40 more than the 250. So this is a great sweet spot uh, in terms of power. Love the uh, triple lock, uh, triple latch system. So you see there are three latches, so a really solid uh, close to the uh, front of the vehicle here. You'll see some unique, some unique styling in the back too. Um, this is the first Lexus to proudly spell Lexus out across the uh, top rather than feature the circular Lexus logo in the middle. And of course, 350 hybrid all wheel drive. This does have the advanced park option. So you will see parking sensors on uh, the sides of the vehicle and of course, front and rear. 
I love the uh, accent uh, eyebrow light across the the back of the tailgate there. Looking at the trunk, of course, it is power operated and there is a kick sensor as well. Very well finished. And I do think that is a much faster um, opening hatch than previous models. This little notch is your camera for your digital rear view mirror, which I'll show you up front. Please pardon my stuff, but I love the scuff plates here, the uh, rear Lexus uh, um, accessory. And then you do have this uh, bifold um, cargo cover here. Checking out the rear seat. This is set for my uh, six foot two driving frame. As you can see, the digital latch, of course, uh, carries over to the rear seat. You do have actually um, uh, power locks on the back doors, which is a, a new addition to uh, Lexus vehicles. Some German cars have had rear locks for a long time, um, but Lexus has uh, added that now for the 22 uh, NX. Mark Levinson speaker grill here. Uh, the Mark Levinson is a 17 speaker, 1800 watt audio system, which is just beautiful in this vehicle. Of course, the rear seats are 60-40 split folding, and they do recline with uh, that lever up above there. Rear seat cup holders. And you do have um, LED interior illumination. This one does have the panoramic sunroof, which as you can see, really opens up the cabin here. But you have a great view out of the dashboard in that large 14-inch Lexus interface. And then down below, you do have uh, Rear climate vents, 12 volt power outlet, and then two USB-C uh, power outlets. So checking out the front of the vehicle, the uh, luxury package does give you a 14-way power adjustable driver seat, and you've got the four-way adjustable lumbar support, and these uh, quilted leather front seats here. Beautiful uh, perforations for that ventilation. Of course, the doors close with a real nice solid thud. And again, that beautiful wood interior trim with the Mark Levinson speaker grill. Taking a look at the Monroney label, feel free to pause it with any questions you, you, know, you may have that you may wanna answer yourself. Uh, again, options this vehicle has is the luxury package, a cold weather package, those triple beam headlights, the full glass roof, um, the 360 degree camera and advanced park uh, via the smartphone as well. Can't really show you the smartphone since I am using that right now. Um, and some of the standard features, uh, if you'd like to take a look off to the uh, left here, as well as the uh, combined fuel economy, which is uh, definitely a highlight of the new uh, hybrid system in this vehicle. So we'll start up above. Again, you've already seen the panoramic glass roof. Controls for that here are on the left for your power sunshade and then off to the right for tilt and slide. And then you have a button for your safety connect as well as for uh, illumination in the vehicle if the door is open. And these are touch capacitive um, reading lights, of course. And then you do have a sunglass holder. Looking at your rear view mirror, as I mentioned, this is the digital rear view mirror with that notch in the back. Uh, you have a garage home link off to the left and then these buttons on the right do adjust your different brightness, uh, tilt, angle, things of that nature. And then if you don't want to use the digital review mirror, you just uh, push this toggle switch down. Looking down below, uh, the trick, the uh, flickering there is a trick of the camera. Uh, it'll stable out there as you can see. Interface of course is a uh, highlight launch with the NX and the LX. Very easy to use with your different menus off to the left. Wireless CarPlay and Android Auto will be your top icon. Um, navigation is on both the smaller 10 inch screen and as well as this 14 inch screen. It is a, a subscription based over the air navigation system. As you can see, it's a totally different look than previous Lexus navigation systems. Audio. So you have uh, integrated Amazon Music and Apple Music, or of course you can use your smartphone. Turning off the volume there, sorry about that. As you can see, this is a new setup as well. A very easy to use with your uh, uh, favorites. You can easily tune stations and then click between different AM, FM, XM sources. And then if you are back into your you know, satellite, you'll have um, different stations to choose from, of course, or your um, favorites off to the left. You can notify when songs or artists play. You can fast forward back and forth between live um, uh, music and then off to the side you have your Bluetooth phone control or we'll cut back to your CarPlay and then some of the uh, different vehicle settings 
So different information here, but off to the left, of course, one of the highlight features of this vehicle is the uh, 14 inch, uh, excuse me, ugh, the uh, thematic interior illumination that has 14 um, preset colors here. I have Iceberg on right now, but uh, you can adjust it to custom. Again, you may have seen that in my um, uh, F-Sport video. It's gonna be hard for me to show you here in the daytime, but it does uh, illuminate various parts of the vehicle. All kind of different settings through here. I don't want to bore you. You've seen probably several videos on Lexus interface to dive into some of the uh, real intricacies, but um, I love that when you're in uh, navigation, you can make this a, a wider screen or you can bring up your uh, HVAC controls once more. Um, so if you want to override auto, just do your um, zones right there. Heated and ventilated seats, of course, automatic heated steering wheel. Two nice easy knobs to control the temperature and then just set it and forget it with the auto. And then of course some uh, some shortcut options there for your HVAC, as well as some shortcut options um, to mute everything or to uh, use some different um, driving assist features. Down below you've got your two HVAC vents here, and then off to the left you do have the button for your automatic park. Um, it's unavailable right now because two things: my seatbelt's unfastened, and also there are no um, parking spots detected. But that will allow you to parallel park or front park, reverse park into a uh, par perpendicular parking space um, without using any brake, gas, steering, etc. 360 degree camera, and then you can also see that if I put the vehicle in drive or reverse, and as you'll see, it's a super clear display. Love the definition from those cameras. Um, I mean, that's definitely high def. Um, I have it set to uh, automatic, uh, to, for the cameras to automatically come on when you're at low speeds and drive. But it'll always come on in reverse. And of course the mirrors will tilt down as well. And you can see the settings off to the left and you can adjust the color of the vehicle to match your own personal vehicle, which I think is a great touch. And all that is controlled by the uh, ECVT controller here. So again, over and down for drive, back for sport. And you do have uh, paddle shifters on the back of the steering wheel. And then over and up for reverse and P for park. You do have a drive mode selector here with normal sport and eco modes. Just twist the dial. Small storage bin, USB-C and USB type A. A Qi wireless charger here. And that does push back with your phone still on it. So you can put it out of the way and uh, out of the sun, which is great. And still access your um, storage down below with a 12 volt power outlet. And a nice little um, uh, notch here to get that cord out. Two, two cup holders. And you have an automatic parking brake with brake hold and then different EV modes uh, as well as traction control and a dual hinged glove box here. So you can access that from either side. Locking uh, glove box here. And then off to the left uh, at the steering wheel, of course you do have automatic headlights and automatic wipers, of course. And you do have these touch capacitive controls on the steering wheel, which correlate with the 10 inch heads up display. Uh, without the heads up display, you'll have standard buttons for the uh, gauge cluster there but if I put my finger over these buttons as you can see in the heads-up display different menus will come up for your cruise control or um, in other words display or in a different um, display in the center gauge cluster here excuse me and then position of your heads-up display on the left and this is customizable you can make the four-way d-pads whichever you'd like on the left and right hand side I've got it set for the audio to be on the left as you can see track track forward and back volume and then uh, different uh, audio modes as well with that more switch, which would be found down below here. This is a power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. You have, of course, off to the left, uh, power rear hatch and uh, fuel tank and a storage cubby off to the left. Beautiful gauge cluster here. Again, um, toggle back and forth between the different options in the middle. Uh, again, customize it the way you want it to uh, be whatever you want to control that D-pad uh, in the center gauge cluster. But um, but that was a really quick, thorough, hopefully, overview of the uh, NX Hybrid with the Luxury Package. I hope this gives a good overview of the vehicle. Again, in my own words, I love the vehicle. I think this is a great sweet spot in the lineup and a uh, great addition to the Lexus lineup. NX has always been a great uh, vehicle in, in the Lexus lineup, but I think the improvements made for this model are a home run. Um, if you haven't been inside an NX lately, I would uh, definitely recommend checking out the new 22. Uh, I think the technology, comfort, and convenience um, will really wow you. And the efficiency in this hybrid is definitely impressive. So if you have any questions, feel free to drop them down below, and I will catch you on the next video.